What's up everybody? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to an old Forza. This is Horizon 3. It's been so long since I've played this game. Uh, there's a couple of people that uploaded some videos. I think the Goosiest uploaded a video that I've seen pop up on my homepage. And then also Slaptrain uploaded a video recently on this game. And it just made me want to re-download it and just try it out for myself and just play it again. It's so cool. It's so cool. You know what? The thing I... <laughs> I remember so many things about this game. First of all, one of them being that um, the car sounds were bad. So I decided to take out with LFA just to, just to test them out. Which actually doesn't even sound too bad. <laughs> what is with the driver tires? Oh yeah, they didn't care in this game at all. They, they didn't even avoid you or anything. I need to go this way, I think. It's not even that bad, but I do remember in this game they had some really really bad car sounds, and uh, it was it's kind of it's kind of funny to be honest with you. Also, in like the city area, look at the amount of traffic that there is. This isn't the thing in in Horizon in Horizon Five. I feel like there's much less traffic about the place, which is pretty stupid though if you think about it. But I don't know why they made it so there's less traffic. But there's actual proper traffic in this game. But yeah, the driver tires are absolutely ruthless in this game. And it's so funny to drive around them and, uh, and do all that. Anyway, I wanted to hop back on this game and I wanted to play it a little bit. I want to do a build on a car or something like that. Even just mess around with the LFA. And just to see what this thing is like after we upgrade it and do all that sort of stuff. But I remember back in the day, I actually wasn't really able to run this game on the PC. So pretty much whatever I was, you know, stuck with on console on the Xbox One. That was pretty much it. That's what I. That's how I was playing this game. So whatever it was, 30 FPS and 720p or whatever it was. I don't think it was even 1080p. It was like 9, 9, 960p or some something stupid, you know. But uh, I remember I was able to run this game properly on the PC. And now that I have a really good PC, I can run this game really well. I mean, the last time that I played this game was a long time ago, and. I had like my old setup as well, which wasn't even too bad, but I was still able to run this thing. And I remember when I was playing this, yeah, this actually doesn't even sound that bad. I remember when I was playing this, it was, it was when I was, uh, I think it was just before Horizon 4 ended up coming out. I think that's what it was. It was either Horizon 4 or Horizon 5. I think it might have been Horizon, no, it was definitely Horizon 5. So before Horizon 5 came out, I went back and I started doing a bunch of top of thousands on this map. I pretty much revisited everything on this map, and I tried to get higher on the leaderboards everywhere. And I think at, at some point, I did actually manage to get top 1000 on pretty much everything here. So I've tried all the different types of tunes, new tunes and stuff like that. And as you can see, I'm 143rd on this one out of 1.8 million players. So like, I have definitely put in a bunch of hours in this game. I think this is uh, no, Horizon 4 is definitely my most played Horizon game. It has to be. Because I sunk a lot of hours into that. This game though, like I said, I went back and I started playing this quite a bit. Before Horizon 5's release. And that was... It was really, really good. But it looks so good on PC. The only thing that's different between this, I think, and Horizon 5. I feel like if we have, like, a better lighting pack in... Horizon 3, it could look just as good as Horizon 5. That's the one thing that I love about Horizon 5. Horizon 5 stepped up their, their lighting game. So, like, their, their crazy different types of shadows and, and lighting effects. And the way there's, like, actual, you know, a bit of dust in the air and stuff like that. This, it just makes the game look so much more realistic. Like, everything in this map is just overly exposed and overly saturated. It just looks a bit crazy to me, right? And that's kind of why... It makes this game look old, even though it actually doesn't even look that bad, graphics-wise. Like, there's the reflections are very good, the angles of everything is very... It's actually a good-looking game. But, uh, like I said, the lighting from Horizon 5 just took the whole Horizon series to a whole new level. Because, like I said, even in in uh, Horizon 4, it was very similar to this. But this game didn't have a bunch of the stuff that Horizon 4 had. So this is what I mean when I was talking about... Uh, when I was up all the wheel spins the other day. And I was talking about... Uh, I'm going to go into my garage because I want to go ahead and uh, do stuff to the LFA. Make it faster, pretty much. Because I don't think I've ever done anything to the LFA. 
in this game. I think this is pretty much a stock one. But what I wanted to what I wanted to say is that even from this game jumping onto Horizon 4, we have so many new things in Horizon 4 that were introduced that we didn't have in Horizon 3, you know? And that's the one thing that we didn't have in Horizon 5 compared to 4. I feel like Horizon 5 to 4 is just the name change, you know? Because the same thing happened uh, after we... Oh, sorry, not the same thing happened, but as soon as we had... Wait, were we able to do this before? Change the wheel size on stock wheels? I don't know, but that looks sick. Uh, basically, jumping from Horizon 4 to Horizon 5, not much has actually changed because the, the new thing that was... In Horizon 4, we had the option to go into the festival playlist. We had new new things to, to, to play with and do in the game in Horizon 4. And in 5, we didn't really get many new things, right? Like, it's just, they sort of progressed and made it so the, the story is a little bit more, I guess, more of a story than it was in Horizon 4. We had different types of stories, different types of, you know, I guess, things to, to keep up with. But as soon as you finish those, that's pretty much it. You're sort of playing Horizon 5 like you're playing Horizon 4, which is just every week you just go and you do your festival playlist and that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? So, like, the game has progressed quite a lot since the early days of this game even. You know, like, this game did not have a festival playlist. This had the Forza Ton weekly challenges and that's pretty much it. And I'll show you guys what they look like. They look very weird and funny. Um, we have sales that happen every single week, which is really, really funny. But if I go out... I'll show you guys pretty much what was introduced in this game compared to Horizon um, Horizon 2, for example, which was this. It was, it was the Force Town stuff, you know, and this changed every single week and you had different things to do, you know, and you get you get prizes for it. You either get uh, money or you get uh, XP and stuff like that. I do remember all of this, um, but uh, now there's no point because, like, from 4 to 5, not much has changed. Again, four updated and, and added all of the the festival playlist stuff, and then that's pretty much it. They have like five just never came up with its own new concept. I think that's why it got really boring. It's so quiet on the inside. It's really, really quiet on the inside. At least it sounds like an engine. It doesn't sound like it's artificial. I think I'm on sim steering as well because it's super, super twitchy. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, let's bring this thing to the highway. I want to go on the highway. Uh, okay, it's all the way up here. I'll start off from this end. Because I feel like this... Like I said, this game had so much better traffic than we did on Horizon 5. Or than we are having on Horizon 5. I think this is so much better. Also, when you look behind you, the map doesn't change. That's a weird thing. I remember this came from Horizon 4, or sorry, from Horizon 2 to Horizon 3, where we had the bucket list, where we just sort of had some random cars, like supercars and hypercars and all sorts of crazy cars on, on the road that you couldn't own yet, and you were able to drive them. I feel like it's so much more difficult to get actual cars in this game than it was in any of the newer games. I feel like in the new games, you just sort of play the game a little bit, and then you get yourself the fastest cars in the game with ease. Where I've, as I feel like, with the older ones, you sort of had to work for it a little bit more. And I definitely prefer that. I definitely prefer that you had to work so much harder to, to get your cars. Oh man, weaving through traffic is so fun in this game. Like I said, there's so many more cars in this. The driving tires help as well. But there's so many more cars in this that, than in, uh, in 4 and 5 on the highways. That was kind of close. <laughs> that was really close. Oh, man. It really doesn't sound too bad either. The LFA. Man, I miss this game. And for people that are, I know for a fact are going to ask, why, why aren't you playing Horizon 2? That game is only on the Xbox. I can't, I'm not playing on Xbox. I'm playing on the PC. I do still have my Xbox, but it literally hurts my eyes to play it because it's stuck at 30 FPS. It's stuck at 30 FPS and recording it is just such a hassle. Getting my old Elgato and everything like that and have to have to find and set everything up again. 
It's uh, it's just a pain. It's a pain to do just for the one video to play. And I've played Horizon 2 on the channel many, many years ago. I think I've revisited it as well. Maybe about a year ago, but uh, I just uh, I just don't want to fully play it. I wish they would remaster it or bring it out on the PC. I think Horizon 2 on the PC would have been like unbelievably fun. I think they only started bringing titles to the PC with Forza 6 Apex, if I remember correctly. I remember they made like a little, like a tiny version of, of Forza Motorsport 6, which was called Apex. Jesus. And there's no drift suspension in this game, so you're pretty much stuck with your standard race suspension or off-road suspension. I remember you had to put off-road suspension because it, it gave you a slightly worse steering angle. And then lower it all the way. Oh man, drifting in this game was weird. Look how easy it is to spin cars out. Oh, that's so funny. You know what I want to do? I want to try to go as fast as I possibly can. Because I remember the fastest car in this game was a Jag. And I want to take that out and drive that. Just to see. Just to sort of reminisce and, and be like, yeah, this this was fun. There's no like select thing either. So I can like so I can go to the, the uh, to the manufacturer. I literally have to go through this entire list like that. Okay, so there it is. There's the Jag D-Type. I think this has the fastest tune on it. I think so. I want to try it. I really want to try it and see what it's like. I remember the back end being all glitchy. The bit behind the the, uh, the driver's seat was super, super glitchy. This game. I don't even know what what's the faster way to go about this, this speed trap. I don't even have 300 miles an hour on the speed trap. I have 298.68. Which is stupid. Oh, I remember the Range Rover glitch. I remember the Range Rover glitch in this game. I never ended up doing that, but I do remember the glitch. <laughs> I remember that. I remember people used to do that all the time. And I remember, uh, I think I was asked before to end up doing it in some video or show tutorial. And I just didn't want to do it. I was never the type of person to, to use like exploits and stuff like that. But yeah, it's uh, it's funny. I'm trying to figure out. I think this is the fastest way to do it, right? I just go through here. Okay. Oh, I remember this thing does not turn. Yeah, this thing just doesn't turn. So I gotta be careful. Oh my god, it's so fast. Oh, dodging traffic with this thing is gonna be dumb. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, this thing sucks. It sucks. It actually reminds me of the tune a little bit that I've done on Horizon 5 on the on the Koenigsegg, on the Jesco. So I did make a tune on that and it just doesn't turn like this. And I remember online actually doesn't have rewinds on this game, so you're pretty much stuck. I don't even know if this is the right tune for this. I'm slowing down a lot. This is definitely... I either had like a terrible run-up or that was not the right tune for it. Or I'm just going the wrong way. It could just be going the wrong way. What's happening here? Whoa! Oh my god, that snap back on the sim steering! Oh, this was back when sim steering was actually like... Bad to use. Brilliant. I took out a Fiesta along with me. I think this was the game where I actually started going for leaderboards properly. I don't remember in Horizon 2 if I ended up doing that. I don't know. I, I really don't remember in Horizon 2 actually going for leaderboards too much. This is the game that I think I brought the series back. Because the series was a thing back in... Back in Gran Turismo 5 and 6. That, that, that is literally where the series started off with. And... I actually think in Horizon 2, we didn't actually have drift zones or anything like that. I think they introduced that in this game. There's so much new stuff that they introduced in this game that is now, like, standard in, all, obviously, all the brand new games. But there was a lot of stuff in this game. A lot of content that was brand new. Okay, well, I'm doing, like, 300 miles an hour, but I can't, I can't keep it up because there's a car in front of me. Two nine eight point two five. 
What was my personal best? Was it 299? Wait, what was my personal best here? Okay, it was a little bit faster. I think I can beat it. I think I can actually beat it. Two nine eight point nine. Two nine. Wait, what? Wait, what was it before? Was it two nine eight point six? <laughs> I can't believe I got a better score. It's not legitimate because I feel like there's a lot of cheated scores here. Or sorry, it's not. Uh, it's not good because I think there's still a lot of cheated scores here on this leaderboard. What do I need? Oh my god, it's just slightly going up. You know, it's funny how I immediately broke into doing top of thousands as soon as I got on this game. That's that's what's funny to me. I, I immediately started going for leaderboards as soon as I got on this game. I don't know why. It's because I just miss it, man. I miss it so much because you can't do it in Horizon 5. It's so dumb. All the cheated scores on the leaderboards and there's, you can't do anything. I miss this, man. I miss going for leaderboards. PR some leaderboards. It doesn't matter if you're using OP cards. It doesn't matter if you're using anything like just let me go for the leaderboards you know what i mean i miss it so much it's been such a long time oh come on there's so many guys in the way it's hard to beat it with all this traffic it's really really is hard to beat it it's a proper proper challenge trying to avoid traffic and everything 298.7. Yeah, like I'm not I'm not beating that. Like that's gonna take so long for me to try and beat that. Oh man, I miss this game. I miss it. I really, really miss it. Brilliant, brilliant game. I don't know. I could possibly revisit this and try to do some more top one thousands on this game and all that. Horizon 4 is also bugged. I can't play Horizon 4. I go into a speed zone or I go into a drift zone or something like that, and it immediately crashes my game. I don't know why it does that. It's just it's just broken. And I think I've seen fixes for it, and the only fix for it is to reinstall the version of Windows on your computer, and I'm not doing that. I'm not getting rid of everything off my computer, and just to reinstall Windows on it. And just to play a bit of Horizon 4, you know what I mean? But this game seems to work well, which is weird. The one game, like, it's it's not hacked, it's not cheated too much, it's it's got fast cars, it's it's not buggy, it's, it's a good game. Well, apart from, you know, little tiny bugs like that, but... It's not like broken to the point where, you know, you can't actually play the game anymore. It's weird. I don't know. I miss this game a lot. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you've ever played this game before. Um, if you haven't, then I have so many videos on the channel of me playing this game. And uh, I could even revisit it every now and then. Just to upload some of this on the channel. Just to sort of change things up a little bit, you know. Something for the old school fans. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.